This cave is actually really good. Oh my goodness. No, Gold. Oh my goodness. Redstone. Redstone. This is oh, really cool. Spawner. And oh, 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 oh. almost oh. died in lava there. Did you find a mob spawner? What? Uh, lots of skeletons. Oh my goodness. A mob spawner. Ah. That is so sick. Put a torch, put a torch, put a torch. I'll be safe. Oh, this Everywhere. is so sweet. Everywhere. Oh my goodness. We have saddles in the chest and string, and this is so good. I should uh, break the mob spawner. So oh no, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't, don't you dare break that spawner. This spawner is our tool to get infinite levels, infinite bones, infinite arrows. We can make a mob grinding machine that'll give us free stuff. Stuff, we just sit there and they all just come to us and die and we just get Whoa. infinite stuff really yeah how do we do that hey guys it's Finn and Sky here and welcome back to another episode of mastermind tutorials today we are gonna be showing you how to build a mob grinder Whatever so that is. a mob grinder is basically where you take a mob spawner like this where you can find underground uh, you know you found a mob spawner if you see cobblestone and uh, this mossy cobblestone and also obviously the spawner in the middle. There's quite a few different kinds of mob spawners, um, but today we're going to be showing you how to build a mob spawner for skeleton and zombie spawners. So let's do it. Okay, I see. So we don't actually have to fight them. We can just hit them with our fists and get all that stuff really easily, Exactly. Right? That's exactly what we're going to do. So the first step uh, to make a mob grinder like this is actually really simple because the room is basically already made. Uh, what you want to do is just mine away the area so that you have four blocks on every side of the spawner just okay. to make sure that the mobs can spawn because the mobs have the chance to spawn anywhere in this whole room. So first what we're going to do is mine away four blocks from the spawner in every direction. Uh, you want to be careful because you do want to keep it lit. Otherwise, the mobs are going to be spawning while you're trying to work. All right, let's mine this out. All right. All right, I think that's good. What's the next step? All right, so yeah, this is good. We got four blocks on every side. The next step after you make this big room is to mine down two blocks because you need the entire floor to be two blocks below the spawner. So we're gonna do that really quick. All right, there we go. All right, sweet. So now that we have oh, this no. done, uh, make sure you have two blocks underneath the spawner. And then what you want to do is place your water. So you're going to need a couple water buckets for this. And uh, the best way to do this really is to make an infinite water source first. So let's go out this way here. Uh, let's go back out. Oh, oh, there we go. There's the water. There's the water. We <laughs> found right. it. Where, how, where did this come from? What the heck? Why is this turning this way? What we don't want to do to make an infinite water source is just mine away four blocks like this and place a water bucket in each corner. And now we're going to have an infinite water source and we can actually use this for our build. So just right click anywhere in this little square and the water will fill itself up again. So yeah, once you make your infinite water source, you're going to place water all along one side. So just pick a side and place water on the edges like this. Wait, and, can you um, just make an infinite water source by placing it? Yeah, like that. Yeah, but just whatever. Just whatever. Once you place water all the way along the side, you want to watch and see to where it ends. And as soon as it ends, you're going to want to mine away the block right after it. And uh, this is going to make sort of a little tray for the mobs to fall into. So once the mobs start spawning, they're going to fall into this little tray here. And then you're going to want to place more water to pull them all to the middle. All right, so Sky, what you want to do is mine away a block like this again, and then place a water bucket behind it. There we go. All right, and then you want to find the middle block right here where the water kind of goes to, the, to a halt. And uh, so basically what you're going to want to do is look at the spawner and mine directly away from the the spawner two blocks so one two just like this and then mine straight up 24 blocks it's important sky that you mine exactly 24 blocks up so that the mobs fall down the exact right amount so they are at half a heart so you can kill them easily right. so we're gonna mine kill up 24 blocks punch. one two three four five and then i'm just gonna use water to kind of like flow back up so it'll go like this 18 19 20 21 so once you've gone 24 blocks up uh, make sure you know which way the spawner is in this case I can see sky's name tag so I know the spawner is that way so go directly away from the spawner again and uh, make a little doorway so basically just like uh, come on try and mine oh gosh like this and like this there you go that way you can just stand up here and I uh, want to do this around like you can do it two three blocks doesn't really matter to a couple blocks this way and I uh, just we're gonna have that for later uh, so this is gonna be where basically where the skeletons flow across and then go back down uh, but before we do this we need to go back and place all the signs all the way up this waterfall so that the skeletons can actually float to the very top all right you ready sky I'm actually gonna need your help with this because placing signs is actually a lot of work uh, basically what you're gonna want to do is place a sign right at face level right here I uh, don't need to write anything on it obviously um, basically okay. what the sign does it blocks the water so every time you place a sign you place a water bucket above it and as you can see it just kind of floats there I, and then you I can swim up and place another sign. Are you allowed sign. to type little messages? 
to the I mean, if you, uh, like, if you want to, sure, death yeah. Death is near. <laughs> death is Look near. Out. Like, keep swimming up. Like, just a little, like, little message. What, just like, uh, what are your last thoughts? <laughs> just like have like, a little story as you go up. That's a good idea. That's a good, <laughs> good idea. And this is where that infinite water source that we made over here is going to be really handy. Oh, yeah. So just keep grabbing water buckets from the water source. Go back over here and uh, swim up and keep placing the water. And uh, if you want, if you want to go, go ahead and start writing little stories, guys. I'm going to start the first one. Uh, <laughs> okay. Death is near. Done. <laughs> you know, Minecraft physics is really weird. I can swim up this water really fast without drowning, yeah. and yet I can't swim through this like a toe deep water. Like this, I'm like trying to get through. It's like, uh, yeah, yeah, but it's like toe deep. I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. What oh, what? What did you just do? All right, last sign there, and a water bucket, and ta-da! There we go. Ooh. The very top place towards appears so you can see. Basically, if you want to make this go as far as you want, you can. It doesn't really matter. You basically just bring it to wherever you want at this point, because the skeleton is just gonna swim in this water. Uh, so we're gonna basically just have it go down directly which is gonna be right here so we'll just place a sign on the side here it says D on the side apparently <laughs> all right and then we're gonna mine down exactly down. 22 blocks so one two three four five don't you dare jump down here because I'm gonna oh, be stuck wow. forever all right okay. one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen oh oh Oh. Ah, there's a zombie down here. Oh my oh, gosh. Oh, zombie villager. Oh, oh, oh. All right, so I lost count now because um, that's yeah. Now, now I lost count because I fell into this pit. So, right, so this is where the skeleton's gonna fall down basically, and uh, you're gonna want to cover this up so the skeletons can't walk out. So all you need to do is place a block like this, and then you can just hit their feet right there. And you know, actually, what I like to do is I like to make a half slab. So I'm gonna make a crafting table really quick here, and uh, place it like this. Uh, oh, you got an achievement. Make myself uh, some half slabs, and uh, I find I like to be able to see the skeletons really good. So I like put a half slab like this because then you can really just see them. Uh -huh. It's really easy to kill them. Uh, or what you can do is you can mine down an extra level. So you can like really get a good look at them, you know, like oh man, you can get you can get such a good look. Oh, you can a just really you just get a good close up oh, look. Yeah. And then if you do that, then you can kind of go like this. You can you know that way they're not as, as menacing. All right, all right. So cool. that's basically it. Let's break all those torches so the mob spawner actually starts spawning and see if it works. There we go. Just making a door real quick. Mom's Don't mind me. Away. All right, there we go. Door is made. All right. <sighs> Don't die there, Sky. Ah. All right, so let's break all the torches. Make sure it's really dark in here. Let's oh, break he those torches. There we go. All right, I think it's all dark. I'm going to block this up here. Bye, Sky. <laughs> and I'm going to see how this works. Oh, all right, no. let's see. And, oh, no. It's a drop. Oh. oh. Wow. That was close. No. No, please. Uh, no. Oh, I can't. No. How, how many hearts? What? You have so many hearts to the left. How many I have hearts? armor, dude. It's how many hearts do you have? I'm just gonna get out of here. <laughs> what? Thank you. Gosh, dang it, I wanted to kill. Alright, well, there you go. Oh, whoops, sorry, there you go. You're not gonna stop me! Alright, well, it seems to be working. Let's wait here a little bit and see if a bunch of skeletons uh, spawn. There's what? just one problem with this. What? It is gosh darn ugly. <laughs> well, well. <laughs> maybe we'll wait for a while uh, while the skeletons spawn, and I'll let you make it a little nicer if you want to. And uh, by the end of this, we should have a bunch of skeletons here that we can just punch a couple times and uh, get all the stuff and the levels. So let's do that, and we'll be right back. All right, so it's been a while now, and we can go check out what Sky's made. You made it look nice there, Sky? Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah, you totally. made it look nice and pretty. You made it look real ri Perf <sighs> There we go. What? No, no the, what? <laughs> this, this is what you did? Yeah, this is what you did? Whoa. Did some, uh, can you read this, perf? What? Spooky. End of the line. Gravity hurts. What? This is what you did? Isn't it the, isn't it the best? The, the, the... All right. Well, this is <laughs> you. I guess okay, we'll, we'll, leave it up, failed. we'll leave it up to you guys to design this in the way you want. Make it look really nice. As long as you have this, you know, like this. Like, there's only one block. That's fine. Look at all these skeletons that have spawned. There's so many. Oh, my goodness. Whoa. You can just start punching them and get tons and tons of loot. Oh, my goodness. Or you could use a splash potion of healing. Try what? That out. A special of healing? Uh, what, what, we want to yeah. heal them? Why no, do you want to no, heal them? It heals us, but it's deadly to mobs. Oh, so a special of healing actually does damage to monsters. So make a special of healing. And Interesting. If you use a damage potion, uh -huh. then you'll actually heal them. Oh, it's reversed. That is strange. Reverse. All right, let's give it a shot. Ready, 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 ready? Gonna go healing. Boom. What? <laughs> what? Oh my look goodness, at look at all the levels. Just go up. Oh my goodness. Wow. You, you missed two. Wow, I have a stack of arrows, a stack of bones, and another half stack, and like tons of bows. I can combine these now. Oh my goodness! I uh, admit it, you were right. I shouldn't have broken that mob spawner. That was that. That's amazing. That's that is amazing. It. Wow. 
all right hope you guys enjoyed watching this episode of mastermind tutorials uh you should definitely build this in your own world if you do end up finding a spawner because this is this is amazing i can't believe like that was i was awesome use a splash of healing and uh look at 17 levels i'm almost at 30 levels already i'm like so close just gotta keep this for a little longer and uh yeah as you can see we're only there for a few minutes and we got that many this is this is absolutely amazing uh so yeah you know thanks th thanks for joining me sky hope you enjoyed no making this and the next time you find a spawner you know what to do so yeah if you did enjoy this video definitely hit that like button and if you want to see more videos from sky and i check out our channel there'll be a link in the description and also if you want to see more mastermind tutorials there'll be a card up there that you can click and uh yeah again hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you all next time peace, peace.